Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at assigning material resources to activities in Microsoft Project. So to start off I have uh, three tasks here, task A, B and C. All of these have been set to automatically scheduled, doesn't make a difference for this particular thing. Um, leaving the durations alone and things like that, I'm not worried about predecessors, I'm just purely um, looking at the... Uh, sorry, I was going to set these to five. I'm just purely looking at assigning the material resources. Okay, so I'll just put five days on each of those, and maybe just predecessor of, sorry, it can't make a task a predecessor of itself. There we go, that'll do. Now, um, to assign the resources, well, first we have to create them. So we go to the resource sheet over on the side here, and I'm going to have very simple names here. So, um, material A, and material B. Now, um, because it is a material, we need to change the type from work to material on both of those. And when we do that, the material label field becomes activated. So what I'm going to do is um, set up two different types of materials. So thinking of construction here, uh, let's go for meters cubed and units for this one. Uh, and just for clarity, what I'll do is I'll call this uh, concrete. And um, bah, let's leave it at materials big. Can't think of anything at the moment. Um, we're going to put some rates on these. So I'll put 75 on the concrete, and I will put 250 on the other one. Now, overtime rates and things like that don't come into it, obviously, uh, because they're materials. So um, there we have concrete and material B. So one of them is in meters cubed, the other one's in units. So if we flick back into our Gantt chart, we can go along and we can start assigning these. So I'll put the concrete on the first one. And you can see there it's assigned concrete and it's a total of one meter cubed of it. Uh, I'm going to put on the material B in the second one and I'll put on both for the other two like that. Maybe I will um, just sort of show something different here. I'm going to have this as a predecessor of one uh, start start plus two days. Okay. So you can see the, um, those activities just pulling together. And what I'm going to do is show you some cost data in a moment. So, um, let's see, what do we do next? Now, what we have in here is just showing us one meter cubed, one unit, and one meter cubed here. So it's not enough. Now, to get the uh, quantities correct, what we need to do is double click on the activity. Um, so the task there, I should say. So the task is there. And currently, when it says one unit here, what we can do is up this. So this is increasing in increments of 0.5. So I can put, say, 10 cubes on this about 12 just to throw a different number at it and then click OK and you'll see there that we have 12 cubes now on that. Uh, obviously do the same on the next activity so again double clicking on it pulling up the, the resources and maybe we'll put five units on this and click OK. Now um, you may have noticed, well I'll do it on the next one to show you here so again we have one meter cubed and one unit so I'm going to change this to three and I'll change this to 8. Okay, 6, 7, 8. Now currently it's reading 75 and 250. You need to click OK um, to get that to refresh. So I'll just click OK on this one and if I pop back into task C you'll see that it has calculated a, an appropriate cost for those material, uh, material allocations. So I'll click OK on that. So now we'll have the correct material quantities applied to these individual activities. Um, we can pull some extra information out of this as well. So if I go into the resource usage, for instance, there, we can see concrete, well, we're using a total of 20 cubes um, based on this schedule. And we can also see the days when it's all going to be uh, required. So you might want to fiddle with that. For instance, if um, one of those activities is uh, a concrete pour, then clearly it's going to be used all in the first you know, couple of days or whatever. Um, material B there, you can see how that's working out. So you can see there what's going on. And also, if you want to see again day by day how this is working out in terms of cost, you just flick that over to cost. So right click, let's turn off the work there. So right click, use the menu here and select whichever one you like. Um, we also have the ability to change the uh, assignment here. So for instance, if task C now required 10 cubes. I can just enter that in there and it'll all be reflected across. 
So that's it. That's uh, materials in a nutshell. All right. Thank you.